Otters and Broadus men's basketball head coach Greg Zimmerman. Coach, you return a veteran group losing only one player from a team that won the GMAC title a year ago. How does that experience help you as you enter the 2014-15 season? Well, you hope that uh, with all the players that we do have back that uh, they understand the importance of everyday practice and, and how tough our schedule really is. And, uh, you know, nothing beats experience. But at the same time, that team is gone. This is a whole new team with a whole new identity. So uh, uh, you, you hope that these guys bring some of the younger kids. You know, we brought some new kids in that are going to be major contributors too. And uh, just to understand how tough it's going to be this year. Now, the only player that's not back from last season is quite the loss in GMAC Player of the Year, Adam Klein. Now, I know that you can't replace a player like Adam, but what does the team need to do in order to fill that hole that he left in the middle? Uh, you're right. I mean, Adam was not only a, a, a very good basketball player, was was probably as good as leader as I've had here since I've been here. And uh, he kept his team under control last year. I mean, when things didn't go right and things were down, he grabbed a hold of them and, and, and tried to get them to understand how important it was every day to practice and to play the way we were supposed to play. And, uh, you know, we brought some guys in, and uh, right now, you know, I think this team's sort of searching for their identity after three scrimmages. We've had three really tough scrimmages, and, uh, you know, we're not quite where we want to be, where we thought we would be this year. But at the same time, we've had several injuries, and uh, just now starting to get back healthy. You open your season with a long stretch of games on the road, playing eight games away from Rex Powell's Arena before coming home on December 6th for our, your home opener against Davis and Elkins. How do you prepare your team for such a long stretch of road well, games? We didn't want that. I mean, we have trouble scheduling. You know, with our conference being as short as it is, you know, we have to get 14 non-conference games, and it was tough to get anybody to come and play. So it put us on the road, and uh, we try to schedule as tough a game as we could. You know, not have an automatic berth if we, you know, if these guys want to have any chance or any idea of possibly making the NCAA tournament, they're going to have to play these type of teams. And uh, you know that remains whether how successful we'll be, but at the same time, you know, we just got to prepare like we would. It doesn't matter if it's a home or away game. You returned three all-conference players in Malcolm Tatum, Richard Lemon, and Thylus Perkins. Um, all three are juniors now. What do you expect from that trio, and who else can Battler fans look to make major contributions? Well, Richard and Malcolm have been with here for three years, you know, so they understand what this is all about, not just uh, our team, but the conference and the, the tough schedule that we have in that. Uh, uh, I, I still think Ali Bilal, who's one of our seniors, definitely should be a contributor. Uh, Tobias Davel, we brought in uh, a transfer student from UT Martin, has got to help us in the middle. Uh, Angelo Cugini, a freshman out of Cuyahoga Falls, we expect to give us some inside. And uh, another uh, player, Paul Williamson, who was at WVU, has been out a couple of years. You know, we feel that he's you know, can be one of the better shooters also that we've had here. That's all we, the time we have for today, Coach. Thanks for joining us. Okay.